afternoon, everybody. We are out here at the property and we're come out here to recording that the whole time. Oh, well. This level. We forgot to get the little level out of the time. Yeah. I mean, it's all level, so. Like you like to watch me work, like you do Yeah. Well, I gotta be the one working all the time. So they are out there, and they've got some of the stuff down on the roof already. Wow. <laughs> Good morning. They did, they just yeah. hammered them in. Yeah. I watched him do it. Yeah, I know. I'm just. Slick gravel. Ooh, that is some slick gravel. Be careful here. Yeah. It's really icy out here, guys. guys he's putting up plastic around the windows so that um, those are covered and don't get sprayed it can be quite messy 22 to, what? 27? 22 to 27 to uh, toilet paper roll okay and what's this up base that's where they're placed in the wall 
so 57, it's 48 inches across the step base. Okay. Three, three studs. Oops. Pull it, I just pushed it up. They seem to do nice work. That corner's a little... So bathroom. As they say, back to work. Back to work. <laughs> We are primed, so... you guys it's happening we're moving out hedges About time. So here you guys know the results from both desks this is mine the beautiful shelf and the bottom shelf and the edge and this is Chris's and we still need to get his computer and everything like that and I just thought I'd show you guys the finished result This is how his closet turned out. 
And it's not, it's not complete yet. No. You need to put me... I came up with this design. Yeah, which is clever. Just um, square rod. Because... Because we have square rod. Because we needed to hang our stuff, and we have square rod. And... Oak dowel. Plastic moves okay on it. Oak dowel is 30 bucks for one oak dowel. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? This probably cost us... Uh, let's see, this stick of wood, um, probably a dollar, mm -hmm. if that. Yeah. So this is the idea. We got the trim. It needs to be painted, but it's trimmed in here. Painted. Cool. Need to do floor trim. Yep. Need to be painted, caulked. But and, this is uh, this is how mine's gonna look as well. There goes Jason. I'm sure he's happy to see us. Yeah. Ah, he gets overtime for it though. So, but uh, look at that. That thing is slick. I wish I had me a bulldozer. This, my friends, is what we call super soil. And since my Don't you come out again. All right. Oh, I see what I do too. No, no, no. All right, I better close the box. I think it is a copperhead. Those are one of the most deadly snakes that there are. Yeah. Get your shovel or something. Shovel. We got here, guys. We got some trees. Right in the mud. We got a honey crisp. And we got a Granny Smith.
Norman. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. Not biting on your band-aid. Good boy. Good boy. Good morning guys, Lori here from Hedgehog's Homestead. We got our meat birds, yay! From Murray McMurray, there we go. And these are Cornish Cross, and uh, yeah. So we will go and get them home and then the brooder, and I'll show you what our brooder is set up like. There's our Cornish Cross babies, hello guys. And then, couple Americanas. Cornish cross don't they be, seem to be scared of anything. They really want to be in their chicken house, in their new chicken house. They're getting nice and big. Hi guys, how are you and Louie? Yeah. You guys need to go out again, huh? You stay in there and be good for a minute? No, okay, they don't need to go out. Look at that beautiful thing. Isn't it cute? That's about as big as my, well, Testing it again? Yeah. yeah. We're testing it the correct way. Oh. Testing you find instructions? Oh. Nice. And uh, they seem to really be enjoying it. Um, I put out some scraps for them and they were just eating those all up. So, yeah. They're having a good time. So, first of all, this is. Um, you can see right here there's a, a dugged in line. Now that is for a footer that needs to be dugged in a little more. That's not a, a substantial footer. Um, so we're going to look at that in a little bit. But this is where a hose line is going to come out so we can rinse off the area, uh, grab a hose, bring it into the garage if we want to. That will be working. Um, the other stuff, um, this is for um, drain lines and um, that is gonna go directly out the back here. Um, another drain line over here. And then over here, you can see where the hose line runs. Now this will be just cemented in guys, so hopefully no leaks, right? Um, <laughs> they have cold and hot water. Um, there is gonna be a cold and hot water um, hose line. And we do that because we want to be able to run hot water um, if we need it. Now here is where like, this is where a toilet will be back here. And then you'll have a sink area here, probably a sink there or a shower drain. I'm not sure, got to check that out later. And then uh, a vent line. And so this is just, you know, temporary stuff maybe a sink over there that's probably I'm not exactly sure how they're doing it. my husband talked to him but anyways this just kind of gives you the picture of what they're done and this is um, how deep the cement will go down for the footer and it's quite a bit of cement so we're built up quite quite high and then we're gonna have 20 foot walls on this uh, garage so we can fit in you know, big things like tractors, make a, a upstairs if we want to, and all that good stuff. So there you guys go. That is the shop garage, and 
where we're at in the process. So deep, deep, deep and exciting, exciting. A new place to store. Kind of see a little ring around here. There's a drain in the middle there. everybody just a little morning chores Bubba decided to come along with me and he doesn't seem to mind the chickens at all cut Polly's wings over here we'll see hi, hi Polly nice of you just to sit there like that Okay, so this female is a uh, 7.5. Norman, you never let him have any toys. And that is what it looks like from the inside. It's kind of hard to do, uh, to film, because of the very fact that um, there's so much light coming in this way. But um, they are positioning the wall a little further back while it's on the crane still. Isn't this cool? It's gas powered. And it's a DeWalt with a steel motor on it. This is what the front of the structure looks like. Okay, you guys, I gotta show you something cute and special. Look what I got. We got six buff Orphantons. That's this one here. Two white, um, Jersey Giants, four black Jersey Giants, and these are Turdurkins. 
We got two of those. One over there. There. There we go. They're putting metal, blue metal, around the <clears throat> where the beams come and cross over. I think that's pretty kind of cool. A little different than our house. Um, I don't know why they haven't finished this side, but <clears throat> I just thought I'd show you some of the finishing touches. The doors and the windows work great. Um, they put metal all around the big door here. Um, so here's the turkey. It's the one right there. Um, she's not even dragging it. Um, and it broke like... It's this, well, she is dragging it a little bit. It's the one on this side. Let's see if I can get it for you. It's this one right there. Um, and going on next but I meant the grass but oh well <laughs> so exciting stuff thanks for watching God bless and have a great day don't recommend doing this without the mask proper PE PPE yeah I'm putting organic matter, matter in the bottom, and that's why I'm doing it in the early fall. Um, this is not going to break down uh, by next spring, but um, if I put... Insulation is here today, and I don't know if you guys can see you're flowing through that too to go on into the ceiling. Uh, I hear it. Woo! I could sing in here. It's kind of weird though. It's a weird reverberation well, sound. That's kind of weird. So now I have to put some kind of. other thing I'm going to add to those um, beds is I'm going to collect leaves this fall and I'm going to put tons of organic matter in the bottom of those beds. I'm just waiting for the leaves to change. I am so antsy. I can't wait. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm making beds now. <laughs> so I started. Guys, um, we're really good around the tractor. It's our old dog set aren't that great. <laughs> I don't know, just because they're learning young or what. Look at this. Woo! It's 
gonna be bright under here. Fans are on, lights are on. And look at all these plugs. Woohoo! Sweet. That is awesome. Die grinder again. Die what? grinder again. What? Die grinder again. Well, yeah, I mean. Is that what that's called? No, oh, it's called a die grinder. Yeah. Four down and how many to go? Four down and... Two more? One? Four down and four to go. Oh, the other side, yes. Yeah. Eight tires. Yeah. It's going a lot better than what I thought it was going to, though. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I've done these four tires faster than... You did that one. Than I did, yeah, <laughs> one, one tire. Okay, you guys, so this is how it looks at the end of the day. I'm still not done. Found uh, four potatoes in the ground, by the way. Um, so we have one, two, three, four. Good afternoon, guys. Today is processing day for our turkeys. So we're going to get on it. I'm going to Beautiful fall. The one that I thought that I had that, that I showed the picture of, mm -hmm. he actually is, he's actually quite a bit bigger, taller. <laughs> they get, are they getting bigger on their property? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he showed, they showed me some pictures of some dandies. They've got some really nice deer. He's long. A lot of backstrap there. <laughs> Thank you everybody. From the wise, Baker. <laughs> and don't dent your countertops. <laughs> Good thing it's not glass. I've never seen this done laid down, so. Never? Never. Right, gotta put the deer meat away. Bubba, Bubba, Bubba. That's not for you, honey. Bubba, where'd the antlers go? Huh? <laughs> Where'd the antlers go, Bubba? <laughs> that was funny. That fell off. Yeah. Can I harvest this beauty? Let's see if I can do this. Oh. 
Okay. I chop it into larger pieces and then I we'll let them sit a little longer. They're good size, but we want them a little bit bigger. Maybe I can bring that recipe to you. We do a coleslaw that is a lot like KFC. We've made so many delicious things together. There we go. Beautiful pumpkin muffins. Well, come over here. Stop complaining and come over here. I'm trying to play keep away, Bubba. Hmm. Building across us behind us. You can see the roof of that house from the house line is gone. Old concerts. Ours from the tornado. I don't know what hit them, but type style. That building was people's lives totally uprooted, guys. That pile of debris.